For my second rant, we have this insinuation that atheists are always getting from Christians, Muslims, the occasional Mormon, and as far as I know, no one else. Since all morals come from God, how can you possibly know right from wrong? First, you have to demonstrate the existence of this being before you can make the case for turning to him for anything at all, including any guidance whatsoever, including moral. You can't do that. We both know you can't. Don't pretend you can. You have been trying, you have been trying continuously for centuries, and you have failed continuously. Give it up. Second, saying that all morals come from him does not make it so. You are in fact alleging that he deliberately made us unable to be moral without his guidance. That's a staggering oversight which renders him pretty unimpressive. Third, let's borrow the words of Richard Dawkins. The God of the Old Testament is arguably the most unpleasant character in all fiction. Jealous and proud of it. A petty, unjust, unforgiving control freak, a vindictive, bloodthirsty ethnic cleanser, a misogynistic, homophobic, racist, infanticidal, genocidal, filicidal, pestilential, megalomaniacal, sadomasochistic, capriciously malevolent bully. Ah, but wait. My Christian subscribers, no doubt, are responding to this by saying, but wait a minute. That's the Old Testament. So that's really a problem for Judaism, not Christianity. And, no doubt, my, my Muslim subscri subscribers are saying, well, that's the morality of the Hebrew scriptures. The morality of the Quran is better, or something to that effect. Well, great. That means that absolute morality changes. That means all this used to be okay. Can you seriously not see the problem with that? Fourth, this practice of having one's behavior guided, dictated, by the threat of punishment or promise of reward is an instrument of control, not morality. That's why it's there. The whole objective of organized religion is control. And that's why the world's largest, most influential religions are the ones which most excel at that. And while we're on the subject of doctrine, I'm getting a little tired of Christians trying to point to the Ten Commandments as a Christian contribution. In the United States, it's mainly the evangelicals doing this. In Europe, it's mainly the Catholics. Whether the Decalogue is in fact a gift or contribution of any sort is debatable, but whether it is or not, it's found in the Old Testament, which makes its, con its origins entirely Jewish, not Christian. I dare to allege that trying to credit it to Christianity instead is a form of latent anti-Semitism. Now knock it off. Fourth, let's not kid each other here. I know from my own time as a believer and my own dealings with believers, you say this to us in the hope of getting a rise out of us. You make this allegation in an effort to piss us off. You say it in the hope that we will take offense. What could be more offensive than being accused of having no morals? But people with no morals have no reason to take offense to anything. So when you make this allegation, hoping to offend us, you make it in the hope that, that it's not true. If you sincerely believed it, you wouldn't bother making it. Thus concludes my second rant.